Whoa, ultra gear. All right, you ding dongs. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can. Hey, everybody, how's it going? What you guys doing? How you guys doing? Can you guys hear me good? I, I adjusted some 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 stuff, so just let me know. Let me know. Let me know if that music's too loud too. Genuine curiosity, loud and clear. Here, as Link has most of the emotions covered. <laughs> All good. Nice. Hey, Zulods, you see that little icon next to you, my man? You see that little icon? Check out that little icon you got right there. That, my friend, Zuloth, let's all give a round of applause. Zuloth is currently a mod for my stream. So you better not make him angry. You better not make me angry. Don't make Trogdor angry, don't make Cinnamon angry, and don't make technical difficulties angry, cause cause Zuloth is gonna is gonna banhammer your butts. <laughs> Whoa, a mod, how fancy. Um, I realize that I can make anyone in chat a mod. <laughs> or rather any user on Twitch. I can I can just pick a random guy and he's a mod for my stream. <laughs> Did you guys know that? <laughs> Look, if you guys stick around long enough, you guys will all be mods. <laughs> you don't want to put that evil on you. <laughs> also, you guys want to see something fancy? Alright, so check this out, baby. Check this out. So, we got a little something right there. We got a little something right here. <laughs> how, how about that, man? How about, th how about that fanciness right there? I downloaded Moobot. I can put in any sort of messages I want. Moobot even has a timer to where I can uh, uh, put timers and stuff. <laughs> Bonabot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Good joke. Trogdor, maybe I should mod you for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna adjust the music a little bit. But it's, so it's funny that you guys are talking about stickers, alright? It's super funny that you guys are talking about stickers. Oh, I gotta. I was messing around with some stuff. Let me. Let me boop this back in here. <gasps> there it is. Let me boop this back in here. Oh, there it is. So it's funny you guys should talk about stickers, because you guys remember this from last week? You guys remember something like this from last week? Oh yes, we remember it. <laughs> well, boy do I have something to show you. And it's a perfect soundtrack for it too. So if you guys click this link here, if you guys click this link, here, I'll, I'll post it again. If you guys click this link, it'll take you directly to my store, okay? Where you guys can purchase right now. There's two different versions. There's, there's, there's the good old randomizer link, you know, with this purple tunic that we, we, with, that we wear all the time. I mean, right now we're wearing the blue one because we're wearing the red tunic. Uh, yeah, I know, confusing, right? But it's a randomizer. Or if you want to be a normie, <laughs> you can get the you can get this the regular standard green link. 
tunic if you wanted to. If you, that's if you're a normie. And he comes. Each version comes with its own pair of hover boots because without the hover boots, he wouldn't be as sexy as he is now on our stream. Am I right? I'm right. You guys are wrong. So that is live right now. You can get your very own uh, stupid sexy link sticker. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic, I must admit. Oh, well, thank you. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll even bring it up just, just to <laughs> see a future cosplay outfit. Yep, here you go. Crazy Beer Cash. Dot, well, that's not the actual link. So the actual link is crazybeer.bigcartel.com. The Crazy Beer Cash Store. Nothing at all, sticker. Super, 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 super stupid sexy link. Zelda, Zelda's not, no, Zelda's not particularly pleased uh, with, with what she is witnessing. <laughs> like I said, it comes in uh, purple and it comes in a green. Um, and actually, before I, I got it. So I was, the reason why I'm a little late was because I was setting that up so that way I could totally just like be all impressive and show it off on stream. But uh, one second, don't go to the link just yet. Don't go to the link just yet. <laughs> now, <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> There's something I forgot to do. <laughs> There you go. Now you can go. Now go buy everything on my store. <laughs> I've got to put the individual options up. <laughs> it's like, oh, you, you don't know which one you're gonna get. <laughs> it's randomized. <laughs> Fling's wallet on the screen. Oh, great. We're all gonna die. Oh. Oh, you guys also figured out uh, a little bit of uh, new sound things I got going on, too. Oh, my God. Big Cartel. Chill. Big Cartel. Big, okay. Big Cartel. Big. Uh. Oh, my God. Stop. Big Cartel is not being very helpful with my images right now. No, it's all, it's all breaking. No. It's breaking. Reload. No. I'll fix it live. <laughs> Why can't we? <laughs> well, we're doing it live. All right, did that fix it? Let me see if that fixed it. It was like not saving any of my uh, image options. It was like, you want to slide it to the right? No. You want to slide it to the left? No. <laughs> and my switch controller's charged. <laughs> Will you work? Okay, good. Thank you. Now, fix yourself. It did fix it. Why is that one fuzzy? Nothing's working. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Where are you gonna end up? There you go. Cool. Yeah, I'll fix it later. <laughs> I don't know why that was so fuzzy. Anyway, you're multitasking, I'm multitasking. I'm trying my best to multitask. But anyway, welcome to the lunchtime let's draw stream. I almost said let's play. That's the wrong thing. You're wrong. I'm right. And uh, aside from me throwing my products in your face, as I do, uh, we got some new stuff set up for the stream. Uh, like I said, 
We have a little Moobot going down. He's he's little he's cute little Eponabot going down. He's he's really cute. Uh, I have it set on a timer, so every I think 20 minutes or so, it's gonna set like a a thing to be like, hey, don't forget. Uh, and this is important. Uh, so, well, it's not really important. Like, <laughs> what what am I doing that's important on stream? But um, <laughs> uh, so I so remember how all the sounds and stuff were just completely breaking. So I found one that seemed to be fairly reliable, fairly reliable. At the very least, it doesn't just, like, flat-out break and not work, and I don't have a means of figuring out what the issue is. And it's the most consistent one I've found. The only thing that you need to do, and I, 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 rely, I have to rely on chat just for uh, just for a little tad. And, uh, hell, I'll bring it up one more time. Uh, so it's the go it's, so you know how you you bloop the stickers? You, got, you like, click on, the click on the stream screen, and you bloop the sticker? Um... All you gotta do is you gotta go do that, but you go to the Go Alerts button, which is above the stickers, and then you go to the settings, and then you do you follow this little thing that I just put in chat right there, uh, where you go to the sounds, you go to, or in order to play sounds, you click Go Alerts in the stream window, go to settings, manage access, allow permissions, and then you have access to all of the new sounds that you could play that I have uploaded, which are pretty much the old sounds, but now they work better. <laughs> and I think I have the audio levels adjusted much better than I used to. So, <laughs> that's fun. Exactly. It was a pretty much a headache in my whole body. I I feel so much pity and sympathy for Waspinator. Um, and if... If you have any pity and sympathy left, you should also give it to me. <laughs> because that was a huge butt to try to figure out how to do it. But, uh, yeah, so, like I said, welcome to the Lunchtime Let's Draw stream. Today's Thursday. My name is Paul. I am an artist from Houston, Texas. I'm an artist, but I'm also a gamer. And what do we do on Lunchtime Let's Draw? Well, we draw things related to, or completely unrelated, I, I mean, I don't know if Stupid Sexy Blinders was even related to all, at all to anything that we were doing, uh, to things that we were playing on our Tuesday stream, which is a lunchtime let's play. Plays, in fact. I keep messing up my own branding and keep calling it let's play, but it should be let's plays with an S, because why? Because I messed it up the first time and you kind of just stuck with it and whatever. And I, I don't want to change now the title of it anymore, so... Uh, so if you missed out on Tuesday's stream, so we were continuing playing Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Uh, we are like, we're like we're months into this thing now, and we're really only starting to make progress. Uh, the previous stream, was it, was it uh, not this past Tuesday, but the week before, uh, we finally beat some bosses in the adult version of Link. Um, we beat Volvagia, or Volvagia, or Volva, or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, the Vagina Dragon, uh, if, you, uh, if, if that's your prerogative. We beat that uh, uh, on Tuesday. Uh, we still need to go back and get some stuff on the Fire Temple. Uh, but yes, the big thing, as Cinnamon figured out, uh, or pointed out, rather, is that we finally got to go carry sword. Uh, Cinnamon wasn't there, and so we texted him and said, Hey, we found the thing that you've been complaining that I haven't been able to find since the beginning of the stream. And he was very angry with us. <laughs> Me, in fact, because he, I didn't wait to find it. And so, after five months, yes, we finally found the Kokiri Sword. We had the Master Sword from a complete fluke because we were just like, Hey, let's just go play this long time, see if it works. Press F to pay respects. <laughs> <laughs> to all the no sword crap we can fall. So here's the thing, though, is that uh, uh, <laughs> much to Angtat's chagrin, um, and probably much to your future chagrin when we pick this back up again and continue on our way as childling. Yeah, deal with it. <laughs> um, I'm not going to equip that sword. It's been too long. It's been no. I got through the entire child version of Link 
without the sword. So, if you guys think that I'm going to equip the sword, I'm not. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, it happened to be an item acquisition that I hadn't checked, uh, uh, like Trogdor said. Um, because, like, when you're playing the randomizer and stuff, like, you're... You, I, like, when I find it, I'm thinking, like, oh, where can I get, like, treasure chests? Where can I get secrets and stuff? But you end up getting a lot of items from events that you would just happen to, like, that would happen to hap that would happen to happen uh, while you're playing the game. Things like cutscenes and stuff. Like, you get the Ocarina of Time from a cutscene. You get, and it's just stuff that, like, you just failed to check. Uh, and you're like, oh, oh, right. Like, you do get that item. Um, so... <laughs> the, the, the thing that happened was is that we went back and to the front of the gate where Zelda and Impa run out after Ganondorf is chasing them and Zelda like tosses the ocarina back in, back into the water excuse shut up excuses excuses I don't have no excuses I, I wasn't even excuse making excuses I was just there's just I'm gonna have words with you technical difficulties <laughs> Words! The words I'm having right now with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she tosses back the Ocarina of Time, and that's where you get... Ban? Oh! I'll leave that up to you, Zula. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> See, so I got Moobot to play, so that's automatic. I didn't make that go. <laughs> so... <laughs> um... So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, that the Moobot thing is working. But, okay, I keep getting on tangents. So anyway, she throws back the Ocarina of Time, right? And that's where you, that's where you usually get it. But, uh... In our randomizer, it was the Song of Storms. And then, you also get the, uh... Song of Time in that same instance. So you get the Ocarina of Time, and then you go to another cutscene, and Zelda teaches you the Song of Time. Uh, so we got two items in that one cutscene, and one of them just happened to be the Kokiri sword. Um, Zelda had it the entire time, and she just... We, we even went up there, and we, we met her, and I think we pretty much got, like... What did we get? I think we got the Sun Song or something. Can the mod ban the streamer? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so how did you trigger the cutscene? Uh, the cutscene was triggered after you get all the spiritual stones and beat all the kid... Like, once you beat... Once you beat Jabu Jabu, which is the third, uh, dungeon in Kid Link, um, you're supposed to run back to the castle and be like, Hey, Zelda, I got all the stuff, but then Zelda comes out. It's like, oh, I'm being chased by Ganondorf. Help me. Um, yeah, so that's where the cutscene is. So you're just supposed to just, like, walk to the front of the castle and then that cutscene happens. I don't know why we hadn't triggered it before, because we had already gotten all the spiritual stuff. Well, no, we didn't. We didn't get all the spiritual stones. When we, so we didn't actually have the spiritual stones when we opened the door of time. We didn't have any of them. I don't think. But we kept getting the spiritual stones. Like, we had gotten the forest medallion and the Goron's ruby. Or not the forest medallion, the, 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 the Kokiri jewel or emerald. Kokiri emerald, I think it's called. And the Goron's Ruby from Adult Link Dungeons. Yes, now we have all three stones. According to my tracker, I think we do. Because we... And I think that was... I guess that was what it was triggered. Because we had... We had gone back and forth, like... Through the castle as Kid like multiple times after opening the Door of Time. So... I guess it would have had to have been getting those... Getting the Emerald, the Ruby, and the Sapphire as adult link and then it's like oh now the cutscene can happen yeah so i guess yeah exactly the, the three stones are, are, are what triggered it so um like i would have never like i would have never connected that I, that would have it would have happened randomly like it did like i was just like oh oh yeah the cutscene's happening i forgot duh <laughs> um so anyway <coughs> i was thinking about what to draw and, uh, we all know, like, Zelda was already kind of a brat, like, in the in the original game, you know? And she was made even more of a brat in our randomizer because she freaking hid the Gokiri sword from us. So, that's the little scene that I'm drawing right now. 
I threw up a, 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 you can see the little sketch here. So I'm imagining, <laughs> we need a story for the stream to check everything for us, exactly. <laughs> Trogdor is usually our, uh, our historian for D&D, &D, so maybe he could be the historian for our Zelda randomizer adventure. <laughs> uh, so I'm imagining, so when we first, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is. He, I, Chandra's been here since pretty much day one of this randomizer, so he it, it, he is a rigorous note taker, and I'm pretty sure, judging by all of his D and D notes, he's probably been taking notes of this randomizer too. So <laughs> I need you to compile those notes, and I need you to make like do you guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna get another tangent, but uh, there is a. Um, I remember. Uh, back in the Pokemon days, which are still happening, but I meant like back when I was, uh, I'm still super, what am I saying? I'm still super into Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> back in the day, that is probably just the end of that pretense. Back in the day, I had this book that someone had written, and it was like an official Pokemon book. <laughs> if I did, most of it would fall crying again. <laughs> and the d July 24th. 2020. The tears begin again. Wallowing in despair, Paul trudges on. <laughs> With like really pretty script or whatever. <laughs> a, so this is this is this is what I'm this is what I'm like imagining it being Chogdor is like you take this game and like you make so there's this um there's this old book uh uh there's this old book about it, it's a pokemon book and it's official it, it's an official book and i used to read it all the freaking time um i don't actually remember what the title was called and I, I'm typing in Pokemon Adventure Book, but it's not pulling up exactly what I'm looking for. Um, hang on. No, that's not it. Uh, it's not Pokemon Adventures. Here, I want to bring it up one more time so you guys can help me out. Um... So, it had, it literally, that one! Oh, is that, is that it, is that it, is that? Pathways to Adventure, that's what it's called. I had this book, this book right here, Pokemon Pathways to Adventure by Jason R. Rich. This book, I adore this book so much. Um, <laughs> I need to like to find like a Wikipedia or something. Oh, it's on eBay. I can get it on eBay. Anyway, this, this book, uh, Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon Schnapp die Dural. What is that? Is that German? <laughs> oh, must catch them all. <laughs> so it's a. Let me finally tell you about this book because I'm just like going crazy nuts over it. Um, this book. Uh, is basically just a retelling of, uh, like, <laughs> Derbs de Buona, <laughs> Snap, which so adventure in German, it's just booze. <laughs> so this book right here is just, uh, basically just takes, like, the Game Boy progression, and then just, he, the dude writes a story about it. Like, he, he, I think he writes it as red or something like that, but like he, he's, he's just writing a. St Basically, he took his version of playing Pokemon and just wrote a story about it. It's kind of like how Margaret Weiss and um, uh, uh, what's the other person? Terry, not Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking Terry Bradshaw. Um, Margaret Weiss and uh, Terry. I God, I can't remember the name. Uh, basically took their D&D &D campaign and wrote Dragonlance. Like, that's what Dragonlance is. <laughs> yeah, it's a story that's officially supported by Nintendo. Tracy Hickman. 
Ah, thank you for remembering, Tracy. I, I was thinking of Terry, uh, uh, Terry, the Sword of Shadara guy. Or, yeah. Uh, Tracy Hickman and Margaret Weiss basically just took their D and D adventure and just wrote a story about it, and that's Dragonlance. I, I don't think that that's exactly what happened, but it definitely feels like it when you're reading Dragonlance. <laughs> just pulled out my copy of one of the books. Oh, thank you, Zula. See, that's why you're modded. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically it was just a- I'm gonna see if I can find some excerpts about it, because I- I loved this book. Pokemon... Pathways... To... Adventure. And basically it was just like... Yeah, the book is the Pathways to Adventure series based on the plot lines of the various video game series. Uh... Oh, they made an Ocarina of Time version, too? I wanna, like... Look at... look at it. Oh, it's on Google, Google Books! I wanna read this again. Yeah, but basically it's just like... And then I found... It's like, and then I found a... I was walking through the woods. It was deep and dank. And then I found a Caterpie. And then I used a potion on my Pikachu. He gained this much health. And then it, <laughs> that's all it was. And he's like, and then I found Team Rocket. And then I nicknamed my my Charmander. I think he's if I I have memory memory of important things is bad that I that for me. But uh, please tell me that includes the part where Professor doesn't know the name of his nephew. Ah, I can't remember. Uh, I cannot remember. <laughs> I think it's I think it's probably like. So many dank woods. <laughs> uh, yeah, this book, and like you know, when you're like when you're nine years old, ten years old, it's like, oh, this book, it's the best. I knew how to read it. I can't remember if, if Ash was the name. All these tags. Can I look into it? I wanna, whatever, happened, whatever happened to that thing? One star, how dare you? It's amazing. Yes, this is epic book. That guy, I agree with that that child. That I agree. That child. What are the reviews of this? I hate Pokemon. It sucks. Kid? Child? I might just flag you as inappropriate. Oh, I don't want to go through all this. <laughs> I put in my email and stuff. Boo. <laughs> anyway, sidetracked. I don't... <laughs> That's kind of how I'm imagining a, a book of uh, Trogdor uh, writing my, my Zelda randomizer adventure. <laughs> so, alright, well, it's, it's 40 minutes into the stream. Let's start drawing. Why don't you love the things I love, random internet person? I know, right? Random internet child who's probably like five years old. I'm glad you guys come and enjoy 40 minutes of me doing nothing. And then I can I finally start doing something and you guys love it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Well, I literally do nothing. <laughs> I love you guys. So you guys having a good day? I'm glad. So, uh, for those of you not in in the Houston area, uh, we were supposed to have um, some storms roll through, but it looks like we're actually going to get uh, missed by most of most of the storms. So that's pretty good. Like, we didn't even get, like, the tail end of the, uh, or we didn't even get, like, the, the, the edge of the edge of it. We just got none of it. <laughs> like, it's, it was supposed to hit us today, I think, and, um, it's bright and sunny outside.
Yeah, there we go. There we go. We get it down. We get it down. Bad news for Louisiana, that's for sure. Who even cares about Louisiana, even? Just kidding, Louisiana. I love you, sort of. It's weird when I drive through your through your state and I find uh, gas stations that have tigers. So it's kind of weird. Just a little bit. Just a little bit weird. Like, why do you guys have tigers in gas stations? I was about to give Zelda a butt, and then I was like, she's a child. <laughs> Let's not do that. We've already given all the butt away to stupid sexy planners anyway. Why do we have them in restaurants with a Ferris wheel? <laughs> Look, I'm not also saying that the that the aquarium in Houston isn't the weirdest thing I've ever come across. <laughs> it's just so strange. I remember, <laughs> I remember when the first time uh, I moved out here to to live with uh, technical difficulties. Um, uh, one of the things that uh, she wanted to show me was she was like, oh, let's go to the aquarium. It'll be an awesome date night. And I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, I didn't know Houston had an aquarium. <laughs> and we, she's describing it to me. She's like, oh, yeah, you can get, like, food there. Like that, She's like, that's the main, like, thing is that you just get food there. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What are, you, what are you talking about? I thought you said it was an aquarium. <laughs> because I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and we have an aquarium uh, across the river in Newport. Uh, and it's like, like my idea of an aquarium, as I've always known it to be, is like a zoo for like fish. Like, that's, that's my idea of an aquarium, right? And so... <laughs> you're from here and you think it's dumb. <laughs> and so, like, <laughs> when I, when, when we went and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, it, it's actually, like, fun. Like, it's got good food and stuff like that. We went, we did, like, the, the, um, the games and stuff like that. And, uh... I think I won like a, oh yeah, I won like a Minecraft hat that I was like, when I start streaming, I'm gonna wear this and I never have. Um. <laughs> what do you sell this shoes look like? Not like that. <laughs> we demand the hat now. I had, I threw it away until it was in my trunk for like, <laughs> it was in my trunk for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, it it had so go get it <laughs> well I would have been able to ask the garbage man to maybe help me out but he decided he was gonna come today at like 7 a.m. when they usually come uh, don't come until like 4 in the afternoon so No funk. <laughs> now I kind of wish I still had it. <laughs> Just kidding, though I don't because it smelled like poop. Because it had been in my trunk for so long. There was like motor oil on it and all the other stuff. It was gross. 
It was, so I, I will describe it for you, Chogdor. It was, um, you know, the creepers from Minecraft, right? Basically, it was just that. <laughs> but it went on my head. And it was fun and cute. And I looked adorable. What is this about a hat? <laughs> so, we were talking about the aquarium downtown, right? And, um, <laughs> we were talking about how silly it is. <laughs> but, even if it's super silly, it was still a lot of fun to go and play all the games and stuff. And one time, uh, Technical Difficulties and I went for dinner and I won uh, a Minecraft hat. <laughs> I want a... <laughs> yes, that's the gist. I, I want to add it to the aquarium, and now I won't wear it because it smells funny. <laughs> yes, but I, more importantly, I threw it away. But <laughs> you don't believe me. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> if we get to 25 subs, we wear the hat. <laughs> I have to go to the dump! <laughs> and it's probably still there. It probably hasn't rotted away. It's probably like... <laughs> it's probably made with like... The most... Like... Uh... Un... Uh... Breakdownable material too. <laughs> Oh, look, Moobot's working. Oh, it's so fancy. Look at how fancy that is, man. I'm a number one ace streamer. Major gamer. So, uh, this is your first day in the job or what? Shut up, Rat Trap. Shut up, Rat Trap. <laughs> Are you saying that to me? <laughs> it's the first day of my job. <laughs> how dare you. Power of Photoshop! <laughs> so shut up seemed like it was a fun. Did you see Rat Trap show up too? He's a cutie boy. Rat Trap showed up, he was a cutie boy. <laughs> I didn't spend all, almost all night trying to figure out how to get that to work properly. I did figure out how to make GIFs using Sony Vegas and Photoshop, so that was fun. I'm learning new skills. So that way when, 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 uh, when Cinnamon finally opens up his OnlyFans account, I can help him make graphics and stuff. Yeah, so, so Zelda had it the whole time. Zelda had it the whole time. And that's what we're trying I, I imagined Zelda, like, being like, Link, go on this adventure! Well, I, I need you to go on this really dangerous adventure, but I, I, all the items have been randomized and I have no way to help you, but I still need you to go on this adventure for me. Can, can you do it? Please? I really... I, I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. I wish I could. I literally have no way to help you. Yeah, exactly. Take this. It'll help you on your quest. <laughs> I honestly forget what we got from Zelda. <laughs> I think it was the Sun Song, maybe? Or we got that from Impa? We got something else? We got like eight items, because you get like a bunch of them like as soon as you meet her, but...
<laughs> I'd take it. Yeah, I yeah, I'd take a couple bucks. Look, if Zelda's gonna offer, if Zelda is the princess, she's gonna offer me a couple bucks. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take that. Speaking of Fiverr, have you guys ever used Fiverr? For anything? I remember so many people being like, oh, Fiverr's like the best. But apparently, like, really isn't the best. <laughs> like, now it's just like flooded with people that are um, kind of just like scamming the system. If I was to ask for the Explorer 3 dungeons and defeating three giant monsters and give her the quest gave me five dollars of help, I would be a bit resentful of myself. <laughs> well see, that's that's where Link's face comes in. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I could have swore you I, I, excuse me. Um this this over there, I um, I think I need that. I, I think I might I think that might that might help me a little bit in my quest. Um Zelda 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 Zelda. Please. <laughs> Fine, here's some dickies. <laughs> Exactly. Here's a bundle of arrows. Or just one. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it'd be really helpful. <laughs> it's like I think you I think you might have something of mine. Zelda. Um I could have swore that I knew where that was in the forest, but I couldn't find it. And it was, re it was replaced with this note that said, It's me, Zelda. Please come see me. I have an adventure for you. I have something that'll be really helpful. I swear it isn't nuts. So, how long until, um, how long do you think, how long do you guys think it'll be until, uh, the younger generations start taking over the National Oceanic, um, Weather Service, um, and we start, end up naming hurricanes and major storms after Nintendo bad guys? Watch out, it's Hurricane Ganondorf! There's so many cool bad guys, like Claptrap. God, I would run away from a hurricane if it was named Claptrap. I would watch a Machinima series <laughs> where it was awkward to that randomizer. Link knows exactly what's going on and is indignant with everyone else. It's just acting like nothing is wrong. <laughs> like everyone's in on it. <laughs> I would watch that too, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> Isn't it? I remember, uh, uh, God, I recently just picked up. <laughs> and that one Halo fan gets Hurricane the Flood. Jesus! That'd be terrifying. <laughs> that would be absolutely terrifying. Everyone, please watch out for Hurricane Kefka. <laughs> I 
What are some what are some other good bad guy? <laughs> oh jeez, I don't know what this American Kefka looks like. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, this is an emergency broadcast from the National Oceanic, Oceanic Weather Service of America. Um, Hurricane Waddle Dee has reached a Category 4 hurricane with sustained winds of 800 miles an hour. Uh, please be advised, Hurricane Waddle Dee is in path to destroy much of the United States. <laughs> Hurricane <laughs> King DDD. <laughs> and there, there's just a spinning, there's just a spinning floating King DDD in the center. Hurricane Kepka just said, die, die, die. <laughs> um, please be advised, Hurricane Bimmy and Hurricane Jimmy, uh, will collide and create, uh, uh, the, the, the one where it, uh, <laughs> I'm just, like, imagining, like, a weather service, uh, Hurricane Bimmy and Jimmy will collide and will create the one kind of a hurricane where they join together and start rotating in on each other. Yeah, that's pretty scary, that's pretty scary stuff, man. You guys might want to get out of the way of this Hurricane Bimmy and Jimmy. <laughs> Hurricane Jesse and James, oh god. <laughs> they just fly off in the sky with a lens flare. <laughs> no, that's what happens to everyone in the path. <laughs> everyone in the path gets flown off. <laughs> Hurricane Nemesis is. Do I have Zelda branded head? I do have Zelda branded head. Let's check these both babies out. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Technical difficulties found them. Uh, technical, so the, they're, and they're good headphones, too. Um, technical difficulties found them at Target for like. Like seventy percent off. It was when Target was having their giant like reorganizing thing, um, and she was having to be there. And they had these phone, the headphones, and uh, it was like, yeah, seventy percent off. I think she got them for like thirty bucks <laughs> or something. <laughs> and they're good headphones too. Like I have never had, and they have like individual, individual, uh, you know, turn up, turny uppy things. Yeah, I know electronics. I know what the meanings of words and stuff. Individual turny uppy things. You know. You know what I'm talking about. Link in his stupid bulbous sideburns. He's so, he's so angry. <laughs> it's like, how, how dare you send me on this adventure? You have the sword right there. 
Missed some crazy shenanigans at Deep Rock. Oh yeah, sorry I couldn't I couldn't make it. Um, I had to work on a Talinga to send that out. What kind of what kind of what kind of dwarvish shenanigans you guys get up to last night? Haunted ghost. There's ghosts? That sounds scary. I don't want to play the game no more. There's ghosts in Deep Rock? That's scary as heck, man. I learned about that one. <laughs> that one, <laughs> one the hard way. Tried to run that solo. Paper, snow, a ghost. <laughs> yeah, man, ghosts are scary. We've talked about this before, man. Like, monsters are fine. Like, I can deal with monsters and stuff, but ghosts, ghosts are something else. Ghosts are terrifying. Like, ghosts, ghosts will just be there haunting you. 24-7. At least you can't you can kill a ghost. Ghosts will just be there all the time. Basically, it's a spectral oppressor bug that follows you the whole time. You cannot... Mm, see, you can't kill ghosts! They know it! You can't kill ghosts! That's what makes them scary! Uh, that's why the Ghostbusters couldn't even kill ghosts. They had to trap them. How many ghosts there are in video games that you can't kill? It's all of them. All ghosts. You can banish them, sure. You can't kill ghosts. You thought the no killing part was a glitch at first. Wow. The problem was that they were trying to hunt and take down three dreadnoughts. Uh, well. I was just like, hey guys, I'm here to shit on you all day. <laughs> that game is so much, so much fun. Highly, if you guys are looking for a good fun, good fun time, highly recommend Deep Rock Galactic. It is a load of fun. Um, and if you got some buddies to play with, highly recommend it. It's so silly, it's so goofy. And it, I feel like it's it's a game that's for for a long time. It's one of the ones that are just like, man, this is just downright fun, man. Like it's super well polished. It's simple, easy to get the hang of. It's fun to play solo too, so like if you don't have anybody to play with at first, or, or like for, for for a bit, like you could still play and have fun and have a good time.
I'm just singing Majora's Mask music all day. You guys better be happy that I decided to do the whole soundtrack and not just uh, Stone Tower Temple the entire time. God, why did I make his arm so beefy? No, <laughs> wait, are you talking about the hand? <laughs> Jog to her. He's a little baby boy with beefy arms. But not too beefy. Beating things with a lot of sticks. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Young Link. Young Link made Adult Link strong, building all the muscle mass. Without Young Link and his lack of sword skills, Adult Link would have no way of beating the challenges that lie ahead. happy with how this turned out. <laughs> this was just on a whim while I was showering. I mean, what, what should I draw today? How can I draw various abstract concepts? And scenes from a game that makes no sense. Tree told me to come here, and and this is how you repay me. This is this is this is how you repay me like this. By by hiding the thing that I I need. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? So have you guys played all the Zelda games? Because I was I was looking at uh, music to, to play for today and ended up deciding on Majora's Masks, Majora's Masks music. Um, but have you guys played all the? How do belts work? 
Gotta head back to work. We'll see you, Cinnamon. You got here. I'll give you one last look at the... I'm just gonna end up coloring it in, adding a few more details here. Um, but uh, take it easy, Cinnamon. And uh, don't forget, there's a new sticker. It's available on the Crazy Beer Cash store. So, crazybeer.bigcartel.com. Thanks, Cinnamon. I always appreciate your encouragement. Give it the mark. Oh, we forgot. <laughs> Chogdor. Wait, hang on, Cinnamon. Hang on a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's something very important that you need to know. <laughs> Hang on, I need to, hang on. Music, stop! <laughs> this is very important. I need you to witness this. Light up yourself, you did actually chort <laughs> The timing on it's perfect! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy Trogdor said this to me last night and I was like, I've gotta put this on the stream. I almost forgot. <laughs> it's so funny, I love it! <laughs> <laughs> it almost makes me mad how much it makes me mad. <laughs> Good on Familiar Scoot. Familiar Scoot's great. <laughs> I need to retweet that. I need to retweet that and like it. If this is still giving me notifications tomorrow, I'm muting this. <laughs> All right, thanks for sticking around for that, for, for my stupid. I appreciate it, Cinnamon. Have a good, have a good rest of your Thursday, and I hope you enjoy your lunch with the lunchtime. Let's draw. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> anyway, I needed to show that. God, I love the internet so much. What would our lives be without the internet? Boring slabs of nothing. That's exactly what it would be without the internet. Would we be less depressed generally? Probably. But what's what's not fun about depression? Especially when you know everyone else in our generation and generations around us have it because of the internet. I feel like the only people that don't have depression because of the internet are like the oldest of grandmas. Because they're like, thanks, Sonny, for for liking my post about sunflowers. That's what I imagine grandmas just post all the time. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is just in a constant depressive state because of the internet. <laughs> Except for grandmas. Like old grandmas, not like... Not like... Grandmas that, like, are posting anti-Semitic 
Stop! <laughs> Those grandmas are bad. <laughs> bad grandmas. Those grandmas need to have their internet privileges revoked. Can we please have like an old person? Like you know how, you know how there's like parental child lock, like controls on internet. Please God, can we have like grandma and racist grandpa child locks, but f just for them, like specifically for them. Like, it'll recognize, it's like, hey, are you trying to repost something that's super racist? Uh, you need to press the password to unlock it. <laughs> and then the, and then Grandpa has to come to, like, his daughter and be like, Stacy, I need to post this thing. And then the daughter's like, Grandpa, are you posting bad stuff about Jews? And he's like, no, of course not. I just don't think that they should have all the money in the world. Grandpa, that's that's a bad thing about Jews. <laughs> Please, Grandpa, you're not allowed to post those things. But I just... Fine. See, and then it works. Because Grandpa ain't going to fight you. Like, a little kid will fight you. And a little kid will figure out... Grandpa can't figure out how to get around it. Little kids can figure out how to get around it. Grandpa ain't gonna figure out how to get around your grandpa controls. You know what I mean? <laughs> Old capture. <laughs> I would call it future you and it would always ask hey this is you from the future I'm here to tell you that this doesn't end well are you sure you want to post this <laughs> a person from China is called a blank person <laughs> the, the only correct answer is a Chinese person <laughs> that's it that's the only correct that would be amazing oh my god are you kidding me like subliminal anti like not like anti-racist but like subliminal like like tools that people use every day to be like hey like you know you, you, this fact thing that that is a thing that's that's a captcha thing oh my god okay Trump, uh, not Trump. Zuloff, uh as part of crazy bit entertainment's thing we need to come up with we need to develop a recaptcha that is just like science based and like social like acceptance and tolerance based so like things like in order to pass this it's not just click a button to do it it's like <laughs> it's like the earth is round yes or no if you click no you can't sign up for it Please type in the correct answer. Click, click all that apply. Black people should be treated equally or not equally. And if you click not equally, you, you just don't, you, don't, you can't do it. <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> wow, Paul, racism is wrong, but we all know that Earth is a flat disc. The only people that are allowed to say Earth is a flat disc are people that read, uh, 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 What's 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 the what's the book with the turtle? With the world and the turtle? What is that book? Or what is that thing? I don't know. It's carried by four elements on the back of a giant turtle. Exactly. Discworld! That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> the only people that are allowed to claim it are the people who actually have read Discworld. Which I'm pretty sure that a lot of the Flat Earthers have never read a book. I would stand by that.
Okay, now I want to make old capture a thing. <laughs> old capture and science capture. That's Crazy Bear Entertainment's new project. Alright. After we finish a thing that we're not allowed to talk about because we have an NDA. Don't talk about it. Don't don't you talk about it, Zula. I know you want to talk about it, but you're not allowed to. You can't talk about it. You have an NDA. I have an NDA. Everyone has an NDA. You can't talk about it. It should be an easy Chrome extension. Oh yeah, that'd be sweet. The lips are sealed. <laughs> The NDA is that Zuloth is working on my stupid sexy Flanders cosplay. Oops, I just gave it away. Oh, sorry, not stupid sexy Flanders, stupid sexy Link. There's already been a stupid sexy Flanders cosplay. We gotta get this fresh and good while well, the Link is fresh and good. This is nuts to you, this is going on GitHub and SourceForge. <laughs> no! <laughs> Trogdor is so mean to me, everybody. It's like, what the heck, Zelda? Come on, man. <laughs> I don't think they could figure out how to disable a Chrome <laughs> extension. <laughs> yeah, old people are dumb. And dumb people are dumb, too. <laughs> the internet was ruined when old people got it. And it was the detriment to society as soon as old people got Facebook. And obviously women too, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> to a lesser degree. It's always with the women's fault, am I right? I'm right, boys! <laughs> boys only in my stream. You guys like how I'm spending so much time on this stupid little detail of Zelda's veil? It's actually kind of making me mad how much I'm spending time on it. It's technical difficulty, these fish just come flying in from off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I think I know it's not colored, but even I can't help you then. <laughs> yeah, you can't ban me from can't ban her like real life. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mods can't teleport yet. <laughs> you can clip it instead of the falcon punch. Get those memes! I would love it if at some point in my life I have become a meme. Can you believe that? Even if it's for like one day. I have been memed. Who knows? The world is my oyster. Link's so mad. I was, I'm so mad. And I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna continue doing what I did to Angtad earlier. Is I'm gonna continue teasing Angtad about not putting the sword on. I'm not gonna put it on. I told everybody earlier, I'm not gonna put the sword on. Uh, because, like, the game has denied it for me this far. Like, why, I can get, to, I will, I will show the game how good I am by never equipping that sword. It can't keep me down, man. I'm the best gamer there ever was. <laughs> I'm the best gamer. No, I'm gonna... <laughs> it's been weeks. <laughs> Your spiritual stones are so blue. <laughs> They're so backed up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Hangtad, it's been closer to months. <laughs> if we're really counting. <laughs> yeah, we have been waiting for some. Like, we just forgot about it. Because we had the Master Sword, we could have got through that stuff. Um, <laughs> at some point, it just didn't matter anymore. Because we had beat all the child dungeons and we did all that stuff. Like, we got through them. I think the only thing that we... For Kid Link, the only thing that we got left to do is doing the, um... We gotta do the bottom of the well. And we can do the bottom of the well without Kokiri Sword. Psh. Psh. Who even needs a Kokiri Sword for that, man? We got sticks. Sticks are the best. Sticks do the damage of the Master Sword. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Sticks do the damage of the Master Sword. I don't think... I don't... The sticks aren't weaker. Now it's up and lens of truth. I wonder if you can get through... I wonder if you can get through the bottom of the well without the lens of truth. Can you beat Bongo Bongo without the lens of truth? I'm trying to think. I know I tried to do it, like, my very first playthrough, I didn't know that the Lens of Truth was how you beat Bongo Bongo. I can't remember if I ever damaged him. Because if you know where he is, like, he exists, right? Like, he, he exists in the world. Like, he is a... Actually, you need to fire first to get to the bottom of the well, because it's a shit. Yeah, I, I gotta get this fire first. So hopefully we can get through... What? Bottom of the well was fire temple. We, I gotta get Scarecrow Song. That's the next plan. I gotta get Scarecrow Song and do some Scarecrow stuff. I'm pretty... I wanna try beating... Remind me, I wanna try beating... If we don't find the Lens of Truth, I think we should just... Well, we still need to find the Master... Or the, the big key for... Uh, we need to find the big key for Bongo Bongo. Still, I think. The camera. I, I don't think we have that yet, so... A few things we still gotta do. But we, we got... We're, we're entering Tuesday with a plan. We got a plan. We're doing it. We're super doing it. And that's when I'll see you guys next on Tuesday. Because I think I'm going to wrap it up. It's 1.30, 1.35 actually. Uh, we've been drawing for what, about, about an hour-ish. So and look, what we, we made a masterpiece in an hour. I'll color this. I'll put it up on the YouTube archive. I'll, I'll post it on Instagram for you guys to check out when I find it, when I finish color and all that other good stuff. Um, I don't want you I'll, hang on. i got to sign up first, obviously. Because what would it be without me signing my signing my junk? PG! 2020, baby. We're surviving. Lunch. Time. That's not right. 
Let's draw. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I appreciate you. Did you sign your junk? Ew, and why? <laughs> uh, who doesn't? Proctor and Campbell made this art. Don't laugh at my signature, you butt, butthead. <laughs> it's not PG, it's PG. Paul Gruber. Don't make fun of me. I'll make fun of you. I'll get Zulot to ban you. He's a mod now. <laughs> Inktad, I don't know if you saw it earlier in the stream, but we have a new sticker. Uh, new stickers available on the Crazy Beer Cash store. Ban? ban? <laughs> I love the idea of of Zula just be like, <laughs> Ben? Ben? <laughs> Check these babies out, man. If you want a Simpsons, Simpsons reference, you got yourself a Simpsons reference. Feels like I'm wearing nothing else. And we have two different versions. We have the, if you want to be a normie, if you want to be a normie boy, you can get the green version. I'm wearing nothing. It comes equipped with, with the good old hover boots. Because you wouldn't be as sexy as he is without the good old hover boots. And, of course, if you want to get the authentic randomizer version, we have the purple tunic right here for you. With a good old, good old booty. Look at that booty, man. Look at that link booty. Also comes equipped. Whoa, ultra gear. Also comes equipped with the hover boots. I just posted a link in the chat. Uh, if you want to want to drop on over there and get some get some cool uh, get some cool uh, lunchtime let's draw gear plug it plug in my merch bros go get go get my merch from the merch store <laughs> the listing is live uh, if you guys want to check that out please share them around uh, I know I know a lot of you and a lot of our friends like the Simpsons so please share that around uh, I would I would love that it would be a big help. And I would love you guys even more. See, the idea is that I know we're all friends, but if you give me money, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll love you even more than that. <laughs> I still won't let you get that big release, though, Eggtat. You're not getting that big release until the very end. Until the very, very end. <laughs> The flood walls will come crashing down. The dam will burst. And everyone in chat will just be awash with Angtat's love of Zelda. <laughs> I ain't drawing the sword until I fight Ganon. Deal. I deal. I will I, this is I'm not crossing my fingers to not do it. I'm crossing my fingers. Pinky promising. We'll do that. Don't look at my stupid pinky. Pinky promise. We're picking promising. <laughs> All right, you guys keep distracting me. I'm supposed to get. I, I got work to do. You guys are being too fun and enjoying making me enjoy my life. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you so much. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed a lunch. If you haven't had lunch, go eat lunch. Lunch is important. Lunch is the most important meal of the day. They say breakfast is, but get on out of here with breakfast. Breakfast can breakfast can suck my buns. We need. We need uh, lunch. Lunch is more important. <laughs> go have lunch. Uh, go, 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 go. Go sucked out a smoothie even. Sucked out a smoothie like I'm about to suck out your souls with Emmett Otter. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I love you guys. Bye, and I'll see you guys Tuesday. Don't forget to check out the store. Please share around stickers for because everybody loves a sexy boy. Uh, sexy Link. Everybody loves a sexy boy, Link. Especially Zelda. I think there's only like two games in the entire series where they actually got together. Or actually like fell in love or whatever. But whatever. He's still a, a sexy boy. Especially when he's not a child. Because he's an adult. And I can't say those things about a child. Please don't turn me over to the authorities. Thank you. Bye. I love you.